all in all. So I'm now going to do this gate challenge. I originally posted how I would start it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the video in three parts, put it all together so you can see how you progress it in one go. Save you having to keep coming back in. So this is for... You have to bear in mind, my videos aren't just for people with gun dogs. These aren't just for people. These are for people with pets. People who are first-time dog owners. So it's from absolute beginners to people who've had dogs for years. Now, people who've had dogs for years might go, oh, I don't worry about it. Oh, yes, that's fine. If you can do this, that's fine. But there's people out there, first-time dog owners, who might want to learn this. So this is what it's aimed at. So, the reason I'm making this video is because I've seen loads of posts recently about dogs escaping. I've never had a single dog escape, and whether that's because they just don't run off, or my guard's secure, I don't know. But if I ever accidentally left my gate open, I'd like to think the dog isn't going to escape. So, like everything, I try to stop a problem before it even becomes a problem. So side gates, and this is the same at the front door. I do exactly the same. So how I would start this is this. Dog's on the lead. I will open the gate. That's all right. Step back. Now, I've got no pressure on that lead. I'll bring him back now. Make him sit. Ready? Sit. Sit. And all I'm looking for is him to be relaxed. And then I say heel, and we go. And that's how I would do it every day. Now, the reason I want him relaxed is because if your dog is spinning and jumping and whining and pining and barking with excitement, and then you attach this and open that, you can guarantee once they're out there, that's just going to peak. So I want him to be nice and calm before we even go out. Once I get up the hill in a minute and do another session, he'll be different. But I don't mind it there because that's when he's training. Anyway, how I then progress this. I would do this on a lead like that. Again, every dog's different. Some might take one day, some take three days, some take five days, some take seven days. How you progress it is personal choice. Some people will go straight from lead on to open the door with no lead on at all. If you're a little bit wary, this is how I do stage two. So, stage two would be this. Billy, sit. Lead is still on, I'll make him sit. I would open the door, uh, sit. Focus on your sit, and I push it wide open, like that, uh, and I would step back. So I'm now not holding the, I'm not holding anything at all. That's open, and he knows he can't go. Sit. And then I would push it shut. Obviously, instead of shutting it, what you would do is you'd pick your lead up and off you go. So then, how do we go to the final? So what I'll do is I'm going to take this lead off now, because this is what I do. So I'm going to walk back towards here. So you can see my kennels are currently a storage room. So this is how I do it every day. I've come out of the door. He's off the lead into the garden. And then we do this. So the dog goes straight to the door. He stood there. Ready? Sit. Heel. Ah. Sit. And then I put the lead on because there's a road, and off we go. If he was off the lead and I opened this gate and he saw a dog walking past and he went, what would I do? I'd go out, I'd get hold of him, put the lead on him, I'd bring him back in, lock the gate, I'd take the lead off him, back in the house, and I'd go back in for half an hour and wait and I'd come back and do it again. Because if I carry on taking him out then, he's already hyped up. So that's the gate challenge. Very quick, very simple, but practice it. Because what you don't want is your dog running through gates and doorways because especially when like this isn't a main road but it's a road if he runs across there and a car's come in well we all know what could happen so practice it let me know you get on um it's very very simple too it's a great place any new dog owners this is a great little thing to start it's all about obedience have a go and enjoy